Three Sports with Marley Yergo. The Sabre Corn Classic looked a little bit different this year. Today marked one of the first cross-country meets of the season, but they had to cut down on the number of teams attending while limiting spectators. There were 13 total teams in Champaign this afternoon. They had to split the race into five heats, the top three runners from each school in the first wave. So we start with the top runners for the boys. It was a pretty tight pack through the first mile, but Leighton Hall from Arthur Lovington at Wood Hammond was able to pull away for a first-place finish. Paxton Buckley Loda's Ryder James took second today. He was followed by Logan Beckmeyer for the Knights and Monticello's Jackson Grambart, who also finished in the top five. But for Hall, it was a day all about redemption. My junior year of state, I was projected to finish like top five in, for all state, and I really did not have a good day. It was the worst race of my life on the most important day, and I wanted to come back out and prove that was a fluke and that I'm ready to go and I can, I can compete with anyone. It was also a career best for Hall, the first time he finished a race in under 15 minutes. And on to the girls' race. There were a couple changes to the course map to accommodate COVID-19 restrictions. And Monticello's Rachel Kuhn finished in the top three today in what ended up being a strong day for the Sages. Meanwhile, PBL's Treasy Johnson crossed the finish line just under 20 minutes to take fifth. But head and shoulders above the rest was Sages' sophomore Maybe Brune, who finished in first with a time of 1726 almost a minute faster than the rest of the competition she says today was all about staying mentally tough a couple changes i feel like are a given in the current situation that we are in but they don't really affect us because we're all we know the course we know how to run i'm just really excited that we can all be out running again it is a different format than we're used to but to me and my team that doesn't really matter we're just happy to be racing again now, last season, the Monticello girls placed second at state.